Today on High Now, home remodeling inspiration. See how you can transform your living space inside and out. If you're in the mood for some ethnic food, Kamakana Ali'i has an array of choices. Get a closer look at its sushi and Thai options. Plus, inside Oahu's hottest ramen spot, where you can find these specialty bowls. This and more right now on High Now. Aloha and welcome to High Now Weekender. I'm Kanoi Gibson. And I'm Kaino Carlson. You know, we've been spending a lot of time at home these days, so you may have found yourself maybe daydreaming about maybe some uh, home remodeling. Yeah, I'm not only daydreaming, <laughs> but also living through it right now. More on that later. So throughout the show, we're actually going to be sharing ways you too can design your dream home or redesign your current living space. That even includes your outdoor space, whether it's learning about gardening or ways to spruce up that backyard. Yeah, that's right. And when it comes to recreating your dream home, it all starts with an idea. And all things new can help you bring it to life. Whether you're renovating, building a new home, or even an office, All Things New Hawaii has a team to help you from start to finish. And today we're getting a look at their latest passion project. All Things New started in about 2012. Learn a lot about what was going on in the community with scams of contractors and you know money being taken and bad quality projects. So we just saw a need and wanted to meet it and bring something new to the homeowners. And that's where All Things New birth. Somebody has to dream up the idea. Once you have an idea, you have to design this idea in, to make it a reality. And then you gotta build it. That's what who we are is uh, All Things New ATM. These ingredients were applied specifically to this project, the Niu Beach home. You know, this was a passion project where the homeowner lived in the mainland. Him and his wife decided they wanted to move to Hawaii, renovate a home. The dream started birthing. They hired an architect with Blueprint 808, but then they needed a builder. So this kitchen was a full remodel, true all things new. We bumped this whole wall out, put a new beam here to support the second level of the house. That way we had more room and space for the kitchen. This is the master bathroom. So we extended the living space in here. What I love about this bathroom the most is this black beam. It actually was discovered during demo phase. In the process, we we're able to use technology to bridge the gap of communication and managing expectations. Specifically, the jacuzzi on this home was relocated mid-project at zero cost. We have an online portal, a website, that homeowners get built uniquely for each project. They can use it as a place to check photos uploaded every day, a live schedule of everyone that's gonna be at their home. They also can have documentations of the project, financial documentation of the project, and also it's a communication source between their project manager and all the subcontractors and even the field manager of the project. We have an intimate showroom at our uh, warehouse or at our shop where you can come in as the homeowner and get a virtual reality tour of an upcoming design that you're working on. That way you can get a better feel of the space. You can actually have a link to your phone and do a portal walkthrough of your home before and after. It really helps to have that kind of technology. So we do that through customer service from beginning to end. That is our goal, to be there for you as a homeowner, create the best experience possible, and make sure from beginning to end we can operate most efficiently as possible. The heart and passion behind ATN is built with a culture of faith. We love what we do. As a company, we try to promote the best version of ourselves. And we also promote leadership skills within our company. And it also translates down into the work. Hopefully quality is produced at its top level. If you're interested in reaching all things new, you can visit our website at atnhawaii.com. Brought to you by All Things New. <laughs> now, if I lived in a house like that, I would just never leave. Right? I wouldn't Isn't go anywhere. So beautiful. <laughs> and, uh, you know, our house actually flooded last month. And so when we filmed that segment, I was in the midst of actually trying to find oh, a contractor. And so when yeah. I saw that home, I just knew they were the ones. And we literally just signed our proposal from them Ooh, today. Exciting times. Yeah. So we're going to take a look at some of the renderings that we have dreamed up together. You know, they were talking about using technology. So that's exactly what we did. We Zoom called. And and here is this first rendering that they gave to us. Wow. And his wife, Tiffany, she's an interior designer. She came up with this design because she knew Beautiful. I wanted an island. So she figured out a way to configure our kitchen so that I could have the island and, and I could have this beautiful
beautiful open space. They're gonna open up this wall that and we And you'll have guests over, like oh all my, of us. Oh, totally, we're gonna have a party. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then so taking a look at the next rendering, um, this is actually the design I went cool. with. And the reason why is because I needed functionality, I needed tons wow. of counter space, tons of seating area. They actually are moving my stove and my sink. They're swapping spaces with it. And I mean, all of these things, and I'm even gonna be able to have a gas stove, so Ooh. Hawaii Gas is getting involved. Awesome. We're gonna be doing kitchen segments at my home. They're doing these floating shelves. I mean, anything that I asked them to do, they were like, no problem, no questions asked. It's like, whatever you dream, they are willing to implement it. Such sweet people, amazing to work with, and I am, so excited. I'm excited. We Christmas are party. This. I know Christmas party We're at Kanoi's place. We're doing it. We're doing it. All things <laughs> new. They're awesome. Love it. Go check them out. Now, switching gears here, you know, if you're a ramen lover, this next one's for you. From traditional to the not so traditional, here's a look at where they're serving up at Nudes Ramen Bar in Kaimuki. After starting as a pop-up inside of Osoyame Bar & Grill, Nudes Ramen Bar is becoming one of the most popular ramen spots on the island. They just opened their first location here in Wailai. Nudes Ramen Bar, well we started out as a little bit of a pop-up out of uh, Osoyame Bar & Grill. Kind of gained a little bit of following. We turned that into a weekend uh, lunchtime event that we did every weekend. And from there, we kind of moved to Kamaki and we're doing great over here. We have traditional, untraditional Japanese ramen. So it's kind of taking cues off of a lot of uh, what's going on in Japan, as well as we have a little fun with things. So for instance, on Tuesdays, we have a Carnitas ramen, so kind of like a Taco Tuesdays. And we also do vegan food, uh, vegan ramen, so just kind of play that off to the current trend of, of veganism and our friends that are into that. Probably our most popular would be the black garlic tonkotsu ramen. Uh, tonkotsu is a, is a pork based broth. It's nice, creamy, rich, and we have a, a black garlic oil that we put on top of that. That's been our most popular by far. Probably up along with that, we have a toti python, which is a, a chicken based broth. And that's kind of our house specialty and it takes quite a while to make it, but it's really nice and rich, very chickeny. I yeah, know cooking it with uh, gas is, is great. We've got the instant heat, you turn on the fire, there it is, boom. Hawaii Gas has been really awesome with us. We get everything done to them. So from cooking the, the broth, to cooking the pork, to cooking noodles, everything we do here is because of gas. It's been going really good actually. Takeout is great. Um, we've got these nice little barriers that we've made to help promote social distancing. You know, everybody's wearing gloves, everybody's wearing masks. We're trying to be healthy and sanitize everything in between usage. We do daily from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. for lunch, and we also do 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. for dinner. Website, we have newsramenbar808.com, where you can also actually order takeout. So if you want to do takeout, uh, we've got the entire menu on there, including our specials when we do have them. Um, that's the easiest thing to do. You can also call us at 888-2115 and then we'll try and answer as we can. Sometimes we get really busy. So for all you foodies out there looking to get your ramen fix, get on down here to Nudes Ramen Bar. We'll have this whole segment up on HighNowDaily.com. Brought to you by Hawaii Gas. Up next, when it comes to gardening, do you have a green thumb or a black thumb like mine? Well, today we're here at City Mill Eva Beach learning a little gardening 101. We'll be right back. Welcome back to High Now Weekender. Food sustainability is a big topic in Hawaii, and that's why it's important to support our local farmers. And Two Lady Farmers in Waianae is just one example, providing Hawaii with locally raised pork. Well, Kainoa is in the kitchen with Stacy Sugai, one half of the Two Lady Farmers. Hi, Kainoa. Hi, aloha, Kainoa. I'm very excited this morning. I get to grind some pork, and I'm here with Stacy. Tell us a little bit about you folks and, and what makes your guys' pork so unique. Well, I'm Stacy. My business partner is Patsy, and we're two lady farmers. We got a, a farm out in Waianae, and so this is locally raised pork. Uh, today, I got some pork chops from you that I picked up from Foodland, and this pork is only three days old, you know, so very fresh. 
Um, and then we're going to be doing some uh, sausages over here. It has our pork in it and it's made locally here on island. But we got some adobo, Portuguese brand and uh, char siu. But I think what makes our um, pork uh, very different is that it's, it's, it's locally raised, right? Um, and so it's very fresh. A lot of people say that they can see the difference, they can smell the difference, they can taste the difference. Um, Awesome. So th th these are just a couple of, uh, of the big sausages and the uh, the pork chops as well. Yeah. We've got some poo poos. We've got uh, pork chop as well. But tell us about uh, when people think of uh, they must not see a lot of lady farmers. I imagine yeah. doing pork. Yeah. How, how'd you guys get into that? Well, uh, long story. So Patsy is uh, born and raised a farmer. She's been a pig farmer about thirty years. Me, I'm considered a new uh, newcomer, only about eight years. But, you know, we believe that women make um, better pig farmers. And it's because, nothing against the men, but um, it's because women tend to be a little more nurturing, a little more caring, right? And so pigs are very strong. They're not um, we're not able to muscle them like men. So we got to use our brains, we got to use our skill, we got to be patient as we coax them along. Beautiful, and it needs a woman's touch. Yeah, of course. So can we sample, can we taste sure. it? What do, what do we have here? What is so this So that's our up? char siu sausage right there. Okay. So, you know, a little bit, uh, a lot of people like to use that to make stir fry and mm. uh, stuff like that, like, you know, fried I'm rice. I'm imagining a big fat pound of fried rice right next yeah, to it. Yeah, there you go. And then we got our Portuguese, Portuguese sausage right there. I'm and it's a in. typical, you know, regular Portuguese sausage. Um, I like the taste. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can you tell? I have adobo too. Yeah, we have adobo. But can you tell it's a, it's a little leaner than the sausage that you tend to get? Yeah. yeah. So a lot of people like it that it's on the leaner side. Not, yeah, not, not so oily. Yeah. And this is the adobo. That's the adobo over All there. right, I'm going in. Okay. Now, another important part uh, about this gang is that these have the seal of quality from the Department of Agriculture. Yep. Agriculture, meaning that it's locally made, uh, locally sourced here. This is the good stuff. You're getting authentic Hawaiian pork. Yes. And I'm loving it. Pork yeah. chop? Yeah, this is our pork chop. You know, a lot of people think that um, before we used to have to do pork chops well done, right? Mm. But now they're saying that you don't you don't really need to. So if you look, you know, you can see the juices in there mm. because we're not overcooking it. We don't want it to get hard. But I just put a little bit of um, garlic salt on there, a little bit of pepper so that hopefully you can uh, taste the flavor of that. I love it. Yeah, and another thing about Oh, it our, is juicy. Yeah. Yeah. So the flavor profile, right, is kind of similar to what you're used to eating, and that's because we feed 100% grain, and that grain is um, antibiotic-free. And um, so it is kind of the flavor profile that people are used to, just a lot, lot fresher. It is a lot fresher. I can yeah. definitely taste the difference. And to all you women farmers out there, go ahead, <laughs> take some notes. Yep. It can happen. If you want to find out how you can get the seal of quality, head over to our website, highnowdaily.com. When it comes to gardening, do you have a green thumb or a black thumb like me? Well, I am here at City Mill of a Beach at Iris. Hi. Hi! We are learning about container gardening today. A lot of people don't have room. Yeah. You know, they have very small yards, they rent, they can't dig into the ground. They have only balconies. You need to put something in a container. A lot of people use containers also to bring into the house. Now you can grow anything in a container. So we have all different sizes. These are nursery containers. A lot of our plants will come like this. People will buy decorative pots to, for this to go into. For the really big sizes, I like the plastic containers because they make it look like it's heavy, but it's not, it's really light. We have bowls like this. So this uh, is interesting, what is this? This is a fabric pot, they're very lightweight. They come with handles, so you can pick them up all over the place and move them. They are BPA and lead free. They let a lot of moisture out. You will never overwater this plant. So you actually keep the plant in mm -hmm. here? The plants don't get root bound in here. You can start with a full plant like this or you can plant seeds. I would suggest you use a jiffy pot like this. You can plant many different ones in here and you just plant the whole thing in it. It won't ruin the root system. You wanna actually wet the soil a little bit before you put it in. Dig a hole, cover up all the way to the top. You wanna make sure that the new soil is actually covering the old soil. Water it a little bit. Well, so, that's easy enough. I oh think yeah. we can all do it. Yeah, absolutely. So all of these things can be found at all the City Mill locations? Absolutely, and at citymill.com. Wonderful, Iris. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, I feel like I learned a lot yeah, in this yeah. short time. You guys can learn, too. Check out any of the City Mill locations. We'll have more up on highnowdaily.com. Brought to you by City Mill. 
Structural Hawaii Incorporated prides itself on being a full-service residential design and engineering company, serving as a one-stop shop to ensure the job gets done right from beginning to end. Oftentimes, homeowners will seek out different people that provide different services for their construction project. What we do is we provide everything under one roof. Hi, my name is Joffrey Kudimai. I'm the CEO of Structural Hawaii Incorporated, a design and engineering company. We've been around for 16 years. We're a family-owned business. We provide services from the beginning of the design process to the end of construction. We have a structural engineer, we have a civil engineer that does the environmental design, and we have a permit processor and special inspector during construction. During the design process, it's important that we get accurate field measurements. We have Daryl back here doing a 3D scan. As far as I know, we're the only company on island that does this during design uh, for residential design. What we have is the most state-of-the-art 3D scanner, which measures to the nearest millimeter. So we're able to get really accurate information. So when we go through the design, we, we anticipate those challenges from the very beginning and we can address them during the design process rather than in the field where it will take longer and cost more money for the homeowner. Shane is an engineer in our office and one of his job responsibilities include special inspection which includes coming out to the site, reviewing the structure to make sure that the contractor is building it per plan to make sure that in the case of a hurricane or an extreme event that the structure can withstand those loads. So this is Kelly Mendoza. She's one of our architectural designer. What she does is she'll take the information from the field and talk with the owners to understand what they want to achieve with their home improvement project. She'll interview them, go through the schematic design phase. She'll take their dreams and put that on paper. Justin does monthly inspections at each construction site that we've designed. He'll prepare the plans for the contractor to follow so that they can set up their construction site to alleviate any type of stormwater runoff and pollutants into the storm drains. It's advantageous to have everything under one roof because there's internal coordination between different disciplines. When an architect is doing a design, it's important to coordinate the design with the structural engineer. And it's important that the inspector during construction understands the design intent as well as the structural intent of the project. Because we have all of these services under one roof, coordination of these different disciplines is easier and faster and it ensures that the project is done properly. We are fast and efficient and in the end it saves you money. For more information about Structural Hawaii, visit our website at structuralhawaii.com or you can email us at info at structuralhawaii.com. Brought to you by Structural Hawaii Incorporated. Still ahead, turn your backyard into an outdoor oasis. See how Pacific Pool and Spa can help. Plus, whether you're craving Thai or sushi, see some of the Ono food waiting for you at Kamakana Ali'i. Don't go anywhere. If you're in the mood for some ethnic food, Kamakana Ali'i has an array of choices. And today, my first stop, SNS Thai Kitchen. SNS Thai Kitchen serves traditional Thai and Laotian cuisine. They're traditional dishes like pad thai and your, your curries, but they've got some dishes that you won't find at other Thai restaurants. They own their own farm that's organic in Kahuku, and they source a lot of these fresh ingredients and incorporate them into the dishes. And it really helps promote that strive towards sustainability that Hawaii really seeks. They do not use MSG. So you'll get these great flavors and not have to worry about any of the side effects that you'd normally get if you eat elsewhere. For people who are a little bit more hesitant about just dining into the restaurant, you can order online and just come in, pick up your food here at the restaurant and go. Okay, these are the ones you were telling oh me about. Gosh. This is the Nam pork fried rice, which is little clusters of crispy rice that are boldly seasoned. Mm-hmm. Right? Whoa! <laughs> it's like this bomb of flavors that just explode in your mouth. Yes, that's not your typical fried rice. Nope, and you've got the drunken noodles, the pad ki mao. Now you were telling me there's a difference between Thai and Laotian. Thai is more sweet and sour, mm -hmm. and Laotian is a little bit more spicy and salty. So Laotian tends to be bolder in flavor. Which I can see in here, and I love this because there isn't like this overpowering sauce. And actually, if you order two or more entrees, you can get either a Thai iced coffee or a Thai iced tea. Ooh, that's delicious. Just simply come in and say, 
you saw this segment on High Now, and you get that. I love it. Well, I'm also in the mood for some Japanese. Well, we can definitely satisfy that craving because we've got one of those places here at Kamakanali as well. All right, let's go. Sounds good. Sakura Japanese Restaurant is a new restaurant that opened here at the Grove in Kamakanali. They've got a huge dining room and they serve sashimi and sushi. Mmm, a little bit of a crunch. Great, you know, Teishoku bentos. They even have all of these specialty rolls if you want to create a sushi. They even have the teppanyaki grill for the hibachi courses. They've got chicken and shrimp, salmon, cuttlefish, steak and filet. You get a great meal, but you get a show with it. It's great for the entire family. You know, the best is for high now viewers. So if you come in and say you saw the segment and you order an entree, you get a complimentary scoop of ice cream with that. So you get a dessert that comes along with your meal. Well, this was as fresh as it gets, right? Right. Amazing. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, for showing me all the good places to eat here at Kamakana Lee. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. All right. We'll have more information up on our website, HainanDaily.com. Brought to you by Kamakana Ali'i. For those looking to take their backyard to the next level, Pacific Pool and Spa has got over 50 years in the industry, turning homeowners' dreams into reality. Water is my passion. I have fun what I do. Being passionate about water, it's a lifestyle. So it's coming home, and you know, before I eat dinner, I jump in my pool and I cool off. I am Clifton Crawford. I am the president and RME of Pacific Pool and Spa. I merged with Pacific Aquascapes in January of 19. They are the largest commercial builder in the state. Pacific Pool and Spa is service, construction, repairs, maintenance, a full service company from start to finish. Normally I'll tell a customer two to four months is my building permit time. It's one building permit, but it's a residential building permit. Koalina and any homeowners association needs to approve the plan. So what we normally do is once I've got my draft person to draw them up and the stamp on it, I submit that at the very beginning. This pool from start to finish after we got our permit took us about eight months. We decided to do a little bit of something different. This has got a lot of bells and whistles in it. We want to make sure that everything is right. So I want to make sure that we've done everything that we're satisfied with and that we're happy with. Once that's done, I turn it over to the owners and then it's their pool. We started with a 18 by 40 foot rectangular swimming pool. One of the key things, elements that he wanted was fun for his boys. He has two sons. So he wanted a diving board, so that's an eight-foot springboard. It allowed me to build the waterfall, so I put a grotto in there. Now, in that grotto, there's a light up in there, so at night, that lights up. But I also got two fire elements off the side of that waterfall, so there's actually water and fire kind of connected, so at night, it gives it the little ambiance. We have a long ledge, so you can get in and out of the pool anywhere you want on this side of the swimming pool. Then we went to this Bali ledge. It's a nice feature. They've got a couple lounges that sit in here that you can actually get in the water without getting your hair wet. A pool spa combination, in my opinion, is a must. It gets the pool used twice as much. There are 10 or 12 jets in that spa at various heights with various fittings. The owner's last desire was to make this an exercise pool for him. So we actually have a swim jet in the wall of the pool that he can come up to, swim against this current, keep him in shape. We are a custom gunite builder. We start from about $70,000 and we go up from there. For more information, our office is 261-3508. My cell phone, best place to reach me because I'm in and out all the time, 479-2379. Website, packpoolandspa.com. Brought to you by Pacific Pool and Spa and Pacific Aquascapes. Sign me up! Oh, okay, <laughs> so as soon as we walked to the backyard and checked it out, it, it was just amazing. And he was actually telling us that when that pool gets all the jets and everything turned on, it, it actually kind of acts like a, uh, a lazy river. What? Because of all of the jets and, and the fountains that are going, it kind of slowly, organically kind of serves as a lazy river that you can kind of go in a circle. So the pool is just amazing. Yeah, you got your own little mini water park in your backyard. <laughs> you got the kids floating around, the dad mm -hmm. is swimming for exercise, you got the hot tub. Yeah, and it's a great utilization, uh, the homeowner was telling us for the kids, obviously, that is like the, the best backyard to go and have a pot, you know, 
Paina at once we're allowed to, guys. Right, right. right. Once, once we're allowed to do Not that. right now. Well, <laughs> you know, that's exactly what we're going to be adding to our houses when we have a house to add it to. There you go. <laughs> Along with that beautiful kitchen, get yourself a pool too, Kanoi. Just okay. make it happen. No problem. <laughs> All right. Well, coming up. Coming up. If you're in the market for appliances, you have to check out the Mila Experience Center. It's not your ordinary showroom. You can actually taste and see how the appliances work. Details when Hainal returns. Welcome back to High Now Weekender. If you're just joining us throughout the show, we've been sharing some ideas to help inspire your next home remodeling project. That's right. And with all the time we've been spending at home, it's the perfect opportunity to rethink your living space. And I actually took some time the other day to tackle a project I've been putting off. You know, I brought some new life to an old end table with a fresh coat of paint. That's all it takes. You're Take always working. <laughs> you're always working. Well, look at this before and after. It was this ugly green that my daughter had like drawn on and put stickers <laughs> all over and I was about to throw them out and I thought you know what I'm gonna try to save a buck here I'm gonna just get some paint that we've got outside and I, I just sanded it down a little bit toss some paint have the kids jump in it and look how cute it I became. know I'm sure if I did everything you just said mine's would look just like that <laughs> absolutely mine's would. would look just like it I know it's good funny. job Kanoi. yeah so this used to be in our living room and now it's kind of the end tables on each side of my of our bed now so it's really cute it goes right along with your theme so you can really do anything with some paint and it helps you like really just to change the whole look of your house because really look how different that looks yeah, right I love it. different yeah. vibe different energy absolutely that's what we're going for so you can do that too so homeowners listen up earlier we heard about the services offered by structural Hawaii and now Kainoa is taking us to look at one of their finished projects in Manoa check it out Hey guys, we're in the back of Manoa Valley and we're here in a project that's really similar to what Structural Hawaii does. So here to tell us a little bit about the engineering behind this place is the CEO of Structural Hawaii, Joffrey Kuriyama. Joffrey, how are you? I'm good. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. This is one of the projects that is very similar to what we would do. Beforehand, this, this house was a fixer-upper. So we would come in, take field measurements, do the architectural design work. And then we would get the permits for the homeowner, do all the engineering behind it so that they can refurbish the house, do these alterations and make it look brand new just like this. Tell us a little bit about the, the backstory, the history of Structural Hawaii. Structural Hawaii was actually founded as a structural engineering company, but we've diversified and I think that's what separates us from everybody else. We actually do architectural design work, we do structural engineering, we do civil engineering, and we route plans to the building department because we know how daunting that task can be. Uh, we also provide special inspection and we just want to make sure that whoever is building it, they do it properly and safely. That's the beauty of what we offer. Some homeowners will actually go to a designer and the designer will have to pick a structural engineer to make sure that the plans are engineered properly for safety. And they may have to get a civil engineer to do the grading and other things at a uh, retaining wall outside. The beauty of what we do is we have it all under one roof. We have our designers on staff, we have our structural engineers on staff that can do the calculations. We have an in-house civil engineer that can do the engineering for, for retaining walls and things outside on the site. And we also have a permit processor all under one shop. So it's convenient for most homeowners who just want to deal with one person. And there's no finger pointing. We're responsible for the entire project. Well, in this particular part of the house, there was termite nest, an infestation of termites that was causing a lot of problems for the house. The beams were sagging. Uh, and so what we did was we did the engineering to, to resupport this area. There were some walls here, but what we did was we placed it with um, beams to kind of open up the space a little bit more. And so this house was originally framed with wood and masonry, which is uh, uh, concrete blocks. And in this particular corner, not only was there termite damage, but there was spalling issues with the masonry block. We wound up providing recommendations on how to fix the structure. What homeowners can appreciate is that we, we made sure the structure is, is sound, and so they, they don't have to worry about that. Visit our website, which is www.structuralhawaii.com. They can call our office at 808-488-5000. That's 808-488-5000. Or they can just simply email us at info at structuralhawaii.com. Brought to you by Structural Hawaii Incorporated. 
If you're in the market for appliances, you have to check out the Mila Experience Center. It's not your ordinary showroom. You can actually taste and see how the appliances work. People have a hard time believing how well something's going to perform if they can't see it in first person. We're really excited to announce the Mila Experience Showroom by 87.0. This main showroom is just Mila only. That company has been in business for over 120 years, family-run business. The Experience Showroom is mainly about you being able to come in and use the product firsthand. We have them live with live water and electricity, and they are a fair price, and they have really technological ideas. We have a full dishwasher, working sink, induction cooktop, recirculating hood. We have the new heat pump washer and dryer, also a combi steam oven, vacuum seal, and a espresso maker. Justin, I'm actually really excited about this because I am renovating my kitchen. Oh, wonderful. Well, this is a great place to come. So this is our uh, dishwasher right here. The racks are fully adjustable. So if I have bigger pots and pans down bottom, I can actually raise this up or lower it down. And that's why Mila puts the cutlery tray up top. That's amazing. What is the biggest user error when it comes to dishwashers? It's the water efficiency and using too much detergent. Over sudsing is a big cause of dishes being too dirty. All right, this is perfect for Hawaii homes. We don't have a lot of space for our washers and dryers. That's right, but actually this unit can hold up to 18 pounds or 17.8 pounds of laundry. So it's very deceiving. We've got a double filter system. So with the heat pump dryer, it cut down on the cost of electricity. You can run a heat pump dryer for around $14 a year and it's super efficient. This is the new Mila washer. It's got its own detergent system. Basically adds these in at strategic times during the cleaning process to clean very, very well. They're Wi-Fi enabled. I can actually go on an application, start, stop them. So you won't leave your house and come home to a stinky load of laundry in the dryer. Wow. Yeah. Mila also has a really big side in the commercial. They do laboratory disinfectors, sanitizers, and commercial laundry. A lot of that technology will actually trickle down into our residential models. Visit 870hi.com. Under 87.0, we have all of our brands like the Bow Box, Ernesto Meda, Mila, and our project side. So we do high rise projects as well. Brought to you by 87.0. Still ahead, support local and shop online. Details on the new website where you can find all of your favorite made in Hawaii brands all in one place. We'll be right back. During these challenging times, it's more important than ever to support small local businesses. And thanks to the new website, Buy Hawaii Give Aloha, you can shop your favorite brands made in Hawaii all in one place. Times are really hard. Small business has been really hit and program has been around, but we decided to create a portal site to help companies get online to do e-commerce to reach more customers. At the same time, we're also working on a branding uh, to help the Made in Hawaii brand to strengthen that. Ultimately, we, we want to encourage buy local, but our program really will extend to exporting to, to reach you know, consumers on the mainland and overseas too. We are primarily based at farmers market locations throughout Oahu, and a couple of them did shut down due to the pandemic. So to try to outreach to our customers, we had to go online. The Buy Hawaii Give Aloha program um, through the state actually allows more customers and shoppers to utilize that program. So we decided to sign up with that to reach more customers. You know, we are 100% locally sourced. The best way for us to go through it is to support the local community through purchasing anything from our ingredients to our packaging. Every time a customer comes to us, we let them know that we support the community and we're trying to give back. If we were to support another business, we're actually supporting the livelihood of another, another family, you know, another business, their employees. It's really pretty much a domino effect. So if we all just kind of support local, buy local, then, you know, everybody kind of wins. And Hawaii would be a much stronger state just knowing that everything is local. We're, we actually can have things that are made here, 
that we don't rely on other resources to go ahead and help us out. We have everything. We have clothing, uh, accessories, food. We're really happy to see uptake so far. Of course, we welcome uh, as many companies as we can. In fact, we have restaurants and even farm delivery uh, companies as well. It's a portal site, so our job is really to promote the companies, to give them uh, a chance to be in front of as many consumers as possible. This actual shopping is going to be done on their websites, but our job is really to give them the, the portal um, as well as to work on other programs you know, with our partners to do training you know, for Shop Small as well. We, we have reached you know, companies that we've never met before, so we're very grateful we have a network that is going out. It's statewide, right? You know, we represent all companies, so we're really glad, but we're going to keep, keep growing and, and try to get as many companies as possible. It's really a good thing to bring people together to one-stop shop for buying local, and we hope that we can just continue and, and keep growing. And ultimately, it's, it's about the, the brand of Hawaii. Jump on uh, buy.hawaii.gov and we have the About Us section um, and they can uh, sign up. There's an application form that's really simple. That's right, guys. Continue to get out there and support these local businesses. With that being said, it's time for another edition of Checkout and Takeout. That's right. With Checkout and Takeout on HawaiiNewsNow.com, you can always find out which restaurants and businesses are open in your community. First up, ahead of Made in Hawaii's first virtual festival, Allison Izu is doing something special. To celebrate, the local designer is throwing a special sale starting Friday, August 21st. If you use code AUGUST30, you can get 30% off when you buy three or more Allison and Izu pieces. This includes sale items and that means you're going to get savings up to 50% off the original price. Awesome. You can also shop online at AllisonIzu.com and get free shipping. If you have any questions or need help finding your perfect style, call or text the number on the screen or chat with them online. They're also offering curbside pickup at their Ala Moana stores, so you never need to leave your car. And they're open Wednesday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. These deals will only last through Monday, August 24th, so act fast. Up next, now if you feel more comfortable having your groceries delivered, I know I do. Yeah. Panda General Store is Hawaii's newest online delivery service. Now you can order fresh produce, meats and other grocery items all without ever leaving home. Nice. All you have to do is visit pgshawaii.com, create an online account, then you can browse and shop from a list of offerings by vendor or category. You can pay online, then schedule your delivery. As long as your order is placed by 10 a.m., you'll be sure to get it that same day. Delivery is free for orders over 50 bucks, and all orders under are just $10, nice. flat rate. And finally, we've all felt it. It's definitely a hard time for everyone right now, so spread some happiness with flowers from Watanabe Floral. Check out colorful flowers from their bright and joyful lineup, or brighten someone's day with a balloon bouquet. Watanabe Floral is now open Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And to help you share happiness this week, they'll be offering free standard delivery on any online item this Tuesday and Wednesday. That's August 18th and 19th. For more information, visit WatanabeFloral.com. Still ahead, keeping customers safe while banking. A look at the new measures American Savings Bank has in place to keep the process safe and convenient. Details after the break. has changed since the start of the pandemic, banking is easier than ever. And like many financial institutions across the nation, American Savings Bank has implemented new measures to ensure the safety of its customers while keeping banking convenient. At American Savings Bank, we're doing all that we can to keep our customers and teammates safe here. So we require that customers wear face masks when visiting our branches. We've installed plexiglasses at our teller windows, at our banker desks. We have our stickers to follow for social distancing. We've also installed fans to help the air circulation, as well as we've dedicated the first hour between Monday and Friday for kupunas. Basically our senior customers, as well as those at risk, to be accompanied by a caregiver, and we dedicate that first hour to them. Well, making banking convenient is always what we want to do for customers. There are so many convenient ways now to make banking easy. And what we've done is they can have access to their online banking. You could pay your bills, whether it's a one-time or recurring payment. They can also access our ASB Hawaii mobile app and do check deposits. 
and also call our call center or visit any of our ATMs statewide. It wasn't implemented just for COVID, it was really to make customers feel like they can do their banking anytime, anywhere on your time. You know, I think in this environment today, it has escalated the need for customers to do banking differently. There are some customers that don't trust online banking or mobile as well. And to make it safe and give them peace of mind, there are alerts that you can set, which will tell them if there's a login, it'll tell them if there's a transfer, it'll tell them all kinds of things about the access. I think best practice for all customers is to ensure that they don't share their login credentials with anyone, even if it's a family member, friend, that may help them with the application. Or if they do share it, change it. We have a secure access code which can be sent to the device. It knows your cell phone number or email address and it'll send you a code to validate the device as well as keep that device on record should anyone else try to use a different device. So basically, it's almost like a teller. Technology is actually validating you, your IP address, and your device. So if you need to visit any of our branches or speak to a specific banker, you could either call through our customer banking center or you can visit ASBHawaii.com, click on make an appointment, and basically it's an appointment by phone. So it's convenient, you have that scheduled time to speak with one of our bankers. If you need any more information, please visit us at ASBHawaii.com. Brought to you by American Savings Bank. As the state continues to navigate the safe return of Keiki to local schools, co-working for kids is offering parents another option to keep their children engaged. This is co-working only for kids. The DOE is starting this new A-B schedule where you're not going to be at school full-time, but you're not going to be distance learning for the full-time, so it's like half-half. We wanted to give a place for parents to maintain a regular schedule so that you could bring your kids 7.30 like you would at a regular school, pick them up at 2.30 like a regular school, and then we'll be that, that parent at home who is trying to help you figure out your math or <laughs> trying to help you with your tech issues. It's easier having someone there because when you're sharing your screen on um, distance learning, you have to like switch back and forth and it's hard following along while you have one screen, like a program there, and another while you're trying to look at what they're trying to explain how to do it. It kind of gets boring just talking to people online um, versus just talking to people like in person. It's more you're actually living your life, not just in a screen. I could just leave them, drop them off or whatever, and then do my, my thing at work or you know, at home. At Coworking for Kids, we have a space in um, Manoa, right off of Dole Street near the university. So we have all of the tech for them. So they, they join with memberships and can come two days or three days or even five days a week, depending on what their regular schedule is. We want to try to maintain the regular school, but a lot of kids still have their after school programs, you know, whether it's A plus or W plus. So come 2.30, parents are like, I can't come pick you up, I, I'm still at work. So we want to try to maintain that sense of, of a schedule that they had, you know, what's normal, right? <laughs> it wasn't normal anymore. So we, uh, starting at 2.30, we now offer after school programs, whether it's from computational thinkers or it's from, we've got Bricks for Kids and Hawaii Dance Bomb, so lots of activities after school. So parents can come at 5.30 and have a, their regular schedule and still keep in one place. We'll, we do recess and lunch and you're uh, interacting with kids. It's only to 10 students though, right? We have to maintain our small groups. So it's very limited memberships. We're still doing our, our uh, we have three classrooms, spreading everybody out, 10 kids within three classrooms. So we'll do our social distancing and maintaining our CDC standards in the classroom with cleanliness and all that. Do have our coworkingkids.org website for parents to go and uh, express interest or at least uh, they can start buying their membership now. But remember, there's only 10 spots. Brought to you by Coworking for Kids, a computational thinkers company. Coming up on High Now, we're catching up with Sage Tolentino. The seven-foot star just scored a basketball scholarship from one of the biggest programs in the country. Hey, guys.
guys, you know, in sports, sometimes size does matter. Today, we're in Kaneohe catching up with seven-foot basketball star Sage Tolentino. The junior in high school just received a scholarship offer from one of the top basketball programs in the country. Ever since he was a kid, Sage Tolentino has been turning heads. When did the growth spread happen? It's always been, since, since I was a baby, I used to grow like four inches a year. So you've always been like the tallest kid? Oh, yeah. Always been the tallest kid? Yeah. Where do you get the hype from? Because we, we see mom and dad, they're, they're pretty tall, but it's, where does the hype come from? I guess um, my dad's side, because he has like a couple uncles that are like six, seven. What are the typical stares you get when you walk into places? Oh. So like, say if I walk into a lounge or Safeway, everyone just all eyes on me, just like, who is this guy, like seven feet? I mean, they, they, just, they just ask how tall I am. That's like 10 people a day just ask me how tall I am. Given his physical stature, basketball and volleyball were natural fits as the seven footer has served as an integral part of the Marino Spartans' last two state basketball titles. Well, once in a lifetime, just thankful. Crazy that we got two championships because we had a lot of seniors when I was a freshman. So like just to defend the title was was great. But now it's not just his height that's gotten people's attention. It's also his skills, which have now landed the local boy a Div 1 basketball offer from NCAA Powerhouse, the University of Kansas. Tell me the, about the offer from Kansas. How'd that happen? So my manager now, her name is Patty Scott. She got in talk, contact with my parents, and then she told me like all this stuff about coming to the mainland to just train in Atlanta and Kentucky and stuff. And just, yeah, we just started from there. So when you heard you got offered by Kansas, well, what was your reaction to that? I couldn't believe it. It was just like such a big blessing. And I'm just thankful that like another, like a big basketball school offered me. Now Sage hasn't committed as to where he'll play his college hoops, but continues to hone his skills in mainland camps around the country. When you think about uh, the pros, who do you try and model your game after? I think my, my game is trying to be like more like Christoph Porzingis. And as he continues to chase his dreams of one day playing in the NBA, he hopes to inspire other local Hoopers to dream big. Being a Kaneohe boy, I grew up in this community. Pretty small, tight-knit community, but how much does it mean to you to come from a small community like this and you know receive the attention that you're getting? Anything's possible. But wherever you come from, you can just keep working hard and anyone can make it to a big stage. Sage Tolentino. <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> wow, yeah, incredible. He's incredible. Good for him. Yeah, and he's just 16 years old. He's got two more years of prep basketball and just, I mean, shout out to all the local athletes out there. It just seems like every year Hawaii athletes are getting bigger and better. They're going to better colleges. So, so much talent coming out of this state right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. And amazing. he has such a great head on his shoulders. So, good luck to him. Good luck. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching Hi Now. Remember, you can catch any of our segments again on HighNowDaily.com. That's right. Be sure, to, be sure to follow us at High Now Daily on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and YouTube as well. Click that subscribe button. Yes. Now, next week, we gear up for the Made in Hawaii Festival. It's going to be virtual. Get a sneak peek at all the local vendors you can shop for online. I can't wait. Then Kainoa and I face off in a poke battle at the new Foodland Farms at Kamakanali'i. That was fun. We'll show you how, who took home the victory, and then we'll see you guys on Monday morning. Bye now. Aloha.